our next story, you'll meet a man with a passion for nutrition and his desire to help all of us become healthier people. Kim Birchfield takes us to Bob's Red Mill in Milwaukee, Oregon. Bob Moore says it's high time people stopped eating fast and fatty foods. I mean, all these foods, they're, they're not complete. They lack fiber, they are high in oils, and I think it's contributed very much to the fact that we have a lot of very fat people running around because they just simply don't eat right. He's baffled at the thought of public schools that offer such foods in school cafeterias. How can you teach good diet when you feed your children in the very school where you're supposed to be teaching things when you feed them stuff that isn't healthy? I, I'm very confused by a lot of it, but I am determined that I'm going to continue to make what I perceive as healthy food, and that's what I do for a living. He has some strong opinions about healthy eating, but that's not the only passion pushing Bob to grind off. Why are you so fascinated with this? Because it's such a, such a basic industry. I mean, when you think about it, like in the Bible, for instance, each family unit had its own millstone. And there was a, a law, a biblical law, that said that you could not use the millstones as a surety on a loan. He ought to know the good book well enough. After all, he spent a year in seminary school when he first moved to Oregon from California. And become independent of others. So if they didn't pay their bills and uh, the banker took their millstones because that's what they use for collateral, then they wouldn't be independent anymore. It's just a kind of a philosophical uh, law in a way. But, I mean, there's nothing more basic than being able to make your own food. And, and I think there's a certain element of that that's, that, I, that I enjoy being a part of. But still another passion. And I have 10,000 square feet of, mill, of uh, warehouse space across the street full of uh, milling equipment. His fascination with old milling machines brought him full circle to the place he was destined to be, Bob's Red Mill. Old mill the one that you see the pictures of on our labels whatnot that's called Bob's Red Mill and uh, it wasn't red at the time but I painted it red and uh, it hadn't been run for a lot of years. It was on the old rail line, uh, the old interurban rail line that ran from downtown Portland to uh, Oregon City and uh, they, uh, many years ago they brought uh, corn and wheat and things into the mill by rail. All of that has been pulled up of course. But it was a very historic old mill and, and uh, it was a nice part of my life. He started the business in 1977. In 1988, arson brought the barn down, but not the business. A major setback. Still, Bob's Red Mill kept on churning. But we at that time had a, a lot of wholesale accounts. We had the Fred Meyer Nutrition Center account, the Safeway account, uh, Albertsons. We had a lot of very good business by that time. We were putting our small pre-packs in, in all these markets and things. And they were very patient with us, Bob had to get started back up again. The business has grown to international proportions since the days of one or two flour mills. And we just had a um, third container load of our, our products go to Saudi Arabia just this last week or so. It's not just the big accounts that matter at Bob's Red Mill. The little shop, designed like a country store, attracts families and people looking for something better to put on the table each day. Genuine movement in this country that I have watched for 20 years, uh, maybe 30 almost, uh, people being more and more concerned about what they eat and the wholesomeness of grain. It's an awareness that Bob Moore, his family, and his staff for are hoping body. to inspire. And, um, and I feel good about what we did. We raised our kids on that. Now, Bob says it was actually his wife who first got him interested in natural foods. He says she drug him around to health food stores in the 1950s. And then he drug her around the country and even Europe to find the correct milling equipment. As for the employees, it's a fun place to work because during morning meetings, they actually get to eat some of that great cereal. Well, speaking of good...